When the first candy kitchen was opened, FDR was the president of the United States. Since 1937, Candy Kitchen has been satisfying the sweet passions of people at the beach. How do you stay in business that long? Pretty much the key is it's a working business. This isn't the kind of business where people just own it and never show up. We work 60, 80 hours a week and it's very hands-on. Bruce's great-great-great-grandfather started this business, but Bruce and his wife Cindy have transformed it. The day we shot this story, there were 21 candy kitchens. This one along Route 1 in Rehoboth being the farthest north. The others stretch south all the way to Virginia Beach. There is much more to the candy kitchen than the candy. This company could take up a chapter in a marketing textbook. The candy's as good as it's always been and virtually the same, but it never looked like something you would give as a gift. Everything was more like a bakery. You bought it bulk. And today, our packaging rivals any major department store or quality gift goods anywhere for significantly less money. There is so much color here, not just the candy, but the paint on the walls, and it's no accident. So that when you come into a candy kitchen, you're, you're kind of assaulted with an amazing amount of color and candy and the smell, and it really creates a whole experience as part of just going into a regular store. Candy Kitchen sells literally thousands of pounds of fudge a week, chocolate gold. Candy is not just for the kids. Part of the genius here is that Candy Kitchen has become a gift destination. Bruce and Cindy Liner know that just about everyone coming to the beach or leaving it could use a gift. Whether you're on your way into town and need something to get you going for your vacation and, and buy some fudge or some chocolates or some gummies, um, that'll keep the kids happy. And then when you're leaving and you got gifts to buy, for the, you know, the babysitter, someone watching your dog, your neighbors, people at the office. You know, we have an amazing selection of things to buy. Candy Kitchen's online business is also big. You want a pound of hellacious hash fudge? Order it online year round. But don't miss the experience of shopping at a Candy Kitchen store if you can. It's just plain fun. The Liner family has been offered many millions for this sweet company, but don't look for it to change hands anytime soon. It's a family business. Uh, I think it's kind of cool that there's very few businesses that are still third generation and successful. I would be, in 2012 would be our 75th year. I think it would be rather cool to see the fourth generation be successful too and be in that less than 1% of businesses that ever achieve that. We love what we do. It's hard work, but um, we do love what we do and I hope that my kids find the same gratification. The Candy Kitchen, the sweetest stop at the beach. Come on in or shop online right now at candykitchen.com.